Welcome to this video comparison of Beersmith versus Brewfather. I'm Jonathan, secretary of the executive board of Labac. What is Labac? What we're doing for the home brewer in Quebec? We offer discount in many retailers in Quebec. We offer group trainings, individual trainings, virtual trainings, and monthly meetings. What's next? We're working on a lot of stuff, but on blogs, articles, and more. Follow us for more information. A quick comparison of Beersmith versus Brewfather. The main two difference between Beersmith and Brewfather is how they act of a software. Beersmith is a local software of your computer as any other software is like Word, let's say. There he has some versions and updates. Brewfather, it's a it's an online software. A bit like Facebook. It's it's all online and accessible everywhere. The advantage of Beersmith is you, you all your data are local in your computer. There's option of cloud data too. So if you download, let's say, the application on your phones and your data is on the cloud, you have access of all this data on both device. You also, because it's a software, you have the big update between the software version. If you have the version 2, Beersmith 2 versus Beersmith 3, there's more, more stuff inside Beersmith 3. But what they did, because the grain, the hops, doesn't wait all the new software to come in the market. So what they did is they create add-ons so you can add those hops and grain into your software. I found Beersmith more easy to classify your recipe. I'm going to show you that later. There's a brewing calendar in the Beersmith 3 which Brewfather doesn't have right now. We'll discuss that later. There's in Beersmith 3 the, the inventory and a cart option where, where it's easy to manage your inventory and what you have to purchase. Beersmith integrate at the Beersmith 3 little integration. They start integrate like Tilted Germator and some stuff. It's a bit harder than Brewfather by the way the software is done because it's a local software. Brewfrauder, I said, it's a web application software. All your data is online. So if you go on any computer, you connect to your account, all your data will be there. There's option also to have your data locally to back up your data, I mean, into your computer if you want. Brewfrauder do regular update. They add add-ons, they add stuff. It's why when I was talking about Beersmith and the calendar, it's not yet in Brewfather, but who knows? Maybe tomorrow will be. Brewfather, the big advantage I found of Brewfather is they separate the recipes and the brew day, the, the batch of your beer. So you have your recipe on one side and you have the 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 brew day the batch on the other side i will show you that later there's a lot of integration with brew fodder there's tilted the but way better than beer smith does there's plateau keg there's ice panel they're tappy good there's a lot of integration possible with brew fodder we'll show you that just now interface comparison i'm gonna start by showing you beer smith there's the software of Beersmith 2. I don't have right now access of Beersmith 3, but between Beersmith 2 and 3, it's about the same. It's just they have a bit more new options in Beersmith 3 than Beersmith 2. Basically, the first thing I want to show you is how it's easy to manage your, your, your recipes. You can create multiple, multiple uh, files uh, 2021 stout, uh, whatever, uh, pale ale, whatever you want, and just go inside and just add a recipes there. 
it's going to add your recipe right there. Or you take another recipe where you want to put and it's going to change file. So you can manage how you want your files. Uh, and you're going to have to do that with Beersmith because you're going to have your main recipe year, year let's say, the copper pale ale. And when you want to brew it, if you brew on top of that, basically it's our recipe is done. Everything is there and you have all your other options here. Uh, if you go in session with the brewing you do and you change all the settings there, the next time you're going to come to brew, you're going to erase because you're going to go on top of it. So the main thing, it's easy. It's you copy your, your file. You go, let's say, in 2021. And there you go. It's where you, you're going to brew that day, that day. So that's basically the recipes, the design. Then if you, if you do the East starter, it's with this option here, you're going to do it. Then you have the mash or the mash option. Then you have the timer for your brew day, for your brewing and your mash. Then you have your, your sessions where it keeps all the data inside. It's here in Brewsmith 3, you're going to have the tilt integration here in the bottoms. And after you have the other options here and you have the notes at the end. So that's basically our recipe works. I show you all the brew day works. You copy and paste your, your your recipe. It's easier, I find. So the next thing I want to show you in there, it's uh, the calendar, the option of the calendar in Beersmith. Uh, Beersmith 3 have a small uh, here button to be accessible really easy. But Beersmith 2, you go in view and calendar here, and you see your calendar. So you see here that I brew this beer that I just made before with you guys. Uh, you have the primary, the secondary, the bottling, the aging. So it's easy after that to just know and make me make you a, um, a just reminder on uh, on your Google agenda or anything. And it's easy to see when you do uh, your brew day, your primary, your secondary, you can even add moder order options there, add uh, the hops or everything. You have the inventory uh, right here, view inventory. So if I here it's just a samples, but you have those inventory here. And if you go in your recipe, you have the cho choice of remove from inventory the stock or add to the cart. If you add it to the cart and you go in shopping list, let's say you do three or th two or three like this, you go in your shopping list and then you're gonna have everything you need to buy. You can even print your shopping list if you want. That's an option that I like. Beersmith, I have also a lot of tools available here. There's a lot of stuff you're gonna use during your brew day or before or after, whatever. It's very nice to use. Basically, this is Beersmith. Here's there's the interface of brew fodder. Like I said, it's a web-based interface, so any browser you can access easily to this interface. Here's the recipe. I'm in recipe right here. So let's say you want to go see, I don't know, my uh, Amazon, which is a brown ale uh, recipe. Uh, you have your your grain, your hops, a bit, a bit like Beersmith, just written differently inside the uh, the recipe. When I said it, it, it separate the recipe to the, the the batches, it's because here that is my main recipe. It's never going to change, except if I want to change it. But with my brew day, I just click here, brew. Bam. It's bring it to me another way another place and bring it in batch here if i close the brew here you see all my batches uh, the amazon just came in there because it's inside and i just click brew and you have everything so you see the inventory what i have in stock what i don't have in stock uh, you can print if you want your inventory you can print what you need 
Uh, you can modify your batch recipe gear by just changing, let's say, uh, I don't want 2.2, I want uh, 6 kilogram. It's a bit way too much, I know, but just for funs, I close in my batch, it's going to come 6 kilograms. But when I go in my recipe, even if I show you I close it and open it, it's still 2.6. So it's never going to change my recipe. The batch will stay separate than the recipe. In my brew day, I have my batch. I go in brewing. I change the statue of brewing. Yes. And bam, I, I can start brew. I have all my data right here. I, I start the trackers and everything. After, when I go in fermenting, I can change the statue to fermenting. And right here, I have all the data also of the fermentations. When it's done, I go and complete, change to complete, and it's going there. He has bottling today. Uh, everything is there. Again, I can show you the difference here. I have some brassin here that is planned to be brew, not today, another day. I have some in fermentation here. I basically brewed a stout today, but it's in the fermentation here and conditioning means it's not ready to to drink but it's in condition it, it, i brew it, it and the fermentation is done and there is complete i'm going to remove this one that i just did it's not through and then is the one that is complete when i said there's a lot of integration i'm going to show you the integration of the tilt inside which is nice for me you put your tilt and you see it it gives a data every hours so it's very nice very well integration inside right here i can show you the other possibly possibility of uh, integration smart pdi tilted your meters all those are integration and even other software will be able to go because you can create api keys that allowed other software to come get those information for you. Like I said, I said it was possible to be integrated with Tappy Good. Uh, works it with the API key right here. When I said it was a bit more easy in brew in uh, beer smith to manage your your recipe, it's because here they're all there. There's a way of, let's say, I want to put this one. It's a, a recipe that I create in 2011. Let's say I can write 2011 in the tags. When I'm going to close it, here it's going to go in 2011 and others. Or I can write brown L instead and put all my brown L there. That's, that's going to be my folder of brown L's. That's it's a bit more complicated than just create a, uh, a file and go uh, put your your data your your recipe inside. That's what I want to show you about brew fodder. So let's talk about pricing. Beersmith because it's a software locally. You have the possibility of just buy that software. It, those prices are for basement three, by the way. It's $34.95 US dollars one time. You have possibility to put it in two computers and you have possibility of having 15 cloud recipes. After that, you can buy premiums uh, data plan, which is gold, platinum, and pro. The price are there. It's in US dollar per year. Uh, the gold will allow you two computer, one 125 cloud recipes, Platinum 3 computer, 300 cloud recipes, and Pro 5 computer, and 750 cloud recipes. And the Pro is the only one you can use for commercial use. Brewfather on that side, you have a version of free. You have maximum 10 recipes in there, and you have no premium fu uh, functionality, which most of the functionality that is nice in Brewfather are premium. Uh, if you want a premium functionality, it's a dollar ninety nine per US dollar per month or twenty dollars US dollar per year. That's the pricing for those two. Thank you everyone. I hope you like this video.
Don't hesitate to visit our website, labac.ca. One year subscription is only $30 for Labac. It will give you a lot of reductions in many retailers in Quebec and also pubs and brewing. If you have any comments and questions, don't hesitate to communicate with me. My email address is right there. Thank you. Have a nice day.